Hi everyone. Our project is designing an AR-based material library for higher education, offering a formal learning structure for design and engineering students. Material education is essential for design and engineering students. Many universities have tried uh, to set up material library, while a more futuristic and sustainable way is still in need. Currently, the development of immersive technology offers broader possibilities for their education. AR complements the physical uh, environment or object in the real world with computer-generated views. Incorporating sensory experience provided by physical material libraries and the informative benefits of AR technology, we introduce an AR material library and propose a four-node framework for material education. How a product is manufactured, how it functions and experienced are affected by its designer's choice of materials. Some universities allow direct uh, access to material sample in physical library. Some have uh, ventured into the development of online platforms. While uh, new materials are continually evolving and the demands for information are growing. So we need to advance the knowledge of materials to create uh, ideal user experience for products. AR as an emerging technology in the information age allows for a deeper sensory experience by overlying virtual information with physical reality. It can boost students' engagement, interest, and motivation. By laying knowledge over physical environment in a digital way, it delivers a novel experience, which could be the guidance for material education. This figure demonstrates for no structure. Now what offers user a general introduction to the material and sensory perception information? Know who links with the end user of materials is about the application. Know how provides guidance on usage, including advantages, disadvantages, and the sustainability of the materials. Know why is related to the information containing specific data and on property of materials. This system consists of two main functions, information retrieval and AR showcase. We collect uh, material information from publications and official institutions and then sort them within four node framework. We also provide some new materials including those not yet developed in bulk. Well, AR Showcase demonstrates some uh, material case study. For a technical part, we developed the application by using Unity along with C. As a software development kit, Vaforio engine is used to support AR features, enabling application to recognize images in QR code and configure them for real-time interaction. Here demonstrates the user interface from home page to material library page and to material content page. Students can view a 3D model with one specific material on the screen. They have to place a QR code within the range of camera. Different perspectives are available for viewing the 3D model and its materials. Later, we conduct a user test and we found 14 students from design and engineering majors who has already uh, learning materials before. First, they view demonstration of features from homepage to material content page and the AR showcase. And then they will fill in the questionnaire consisting of usability and kind of model. The system usability scale is a likely scale helps to assess usability in a statistic format. 
where the candle model is an analytic tool that assists in understanding the way in which users' emotion responds to a product or function. The overall usability score is at a good level, and the candle model indicates the role of different functions. As the figure shows, AR showcase and new material are attractive. Material search is indifferent, and material content is must be. In brief, the general usability is positive for current system, and the participants show their interest towards AR showcase in the material case study and the new material part. We deliver a differentiated experience that allow users to explore the material learning journey actively. We still have room for improvement in the future. First, we will focus on material data collection and collocation. We tend to facilitate collaboration with more organizations to supplement new materials. Secondly, we will refine the implementation of AR, like uh, allow students to render their own model in real time by selecting suitable materials from the material library. We also tend to improve the system evaluation. As fuller functionality is developed, a controlled trail based on different learning methods will be set up for future user study. Our system has uh, different advantages. First is related to multidisciplinary integration, as knowledge is fused together to trigger dialogue between multiple parties. AR technology is applied to broader students' sensory experience and uh, supplement uh, perceptual information in the physical materials library. We also introduce a new section on materials that promotes information updates and offers new insights to the students. In short, we promote sustainable development of material education. In conclusion, we propose an AR-based material library to facilitate materials education for design and engineering students. We also explore the practical application of AR in education. Indeed, we design the full known learning structure for material education, and the overall results from user tests confirm the importance of AR applications together with the positive usability assignment.